The Australian film industry is having its ups and downs, not the least because of changes in the tax concessions. But some filmmakers just keep on making successful movies, whatever the tax or economic climate. One such filmmaker is Yoram Gross, renowned internationally for his brilliant animation techniques. He's probably best known for a series of films about a charmer called Dot. Here's a glimpse of her from the film Around the World with Dot. Surprise for the best kite. <laughs> Kites? A kite? Oh, I knew it was a kite all along. I just thought I'd entertain you for a while. Oh, Grumble Bones, you old liar. You were just as scared as me. <gasps> oh. Looks like we're in trouble. A most original design. Two kangaroos and two people. Congratulations. <laughs> Looks like the perils of Pauline. Yoram, you have a new film out in the Dot series for Easter called uh, Dot and the Dot Bunny. Dot and the Bunny, yes. Yes. Is that especially about Easter? Must tell you, it's hard to remember all the films. There are so many dots today. We have a Dot and Bunny, Dot and Kangaroo was the first one. Now we are planning Dot and Keto, Dot and Mosquito. Oh. Kita the most. How do the Americans yeah. like the, the Dot series? Do they, oh, they love it. Yeah. They love it. They love it. I believe our kangaroo is much better than kangaroo of Walt Disney. I'm sure he is. Yes, he's a real Australian kangaroo. You've, you're known for marrying animation with live action. Now, is that is that difficult to do? You, you've got a technique, an aerial image technique, mm. where you have it's true. It's true. the animated characters against a live action background. It's kind of our gimmick. It's nothing new in the history of, of animated films. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated. I can't say it is difficult or it's, I can't say it's uh, hard to do. If you enjoy your work, it's very easy, yes. But it is really a little bit more complicated than normal animated film on drone background. Mm, mm. Therefore, we are using a live background. You will see in the Dodden Kangaroo, we have a real Australian bush. In yeah, our new production, uh, the Camel Boy, for example, we have a real desert, Australian desert. And Dodd and Bunny, this film that is coming out uh, on Easter, we will see backgrounds in New York, Paris, London. It was a magnificent trip. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was. A lot of the to today's animation work is being done by computer. Does it ever worry you that you might be overtaken by technology? Or is no, there no, always going to be room for... No, not at all. Not. It's another technique, another... Um, completely another profession, I would say. We have nothing to do with computers. It means I, I'll be never able to use computers. Uh, our animators, which we have today, 40 people, they are very happy with those pencils they have and a piece of paper. So there's a lot of them coming on who are keen to learn the, the techniques Absolutely, of, absolutely. Animation. As drawings, uh, here still uh, plenty of people are drawing, painting. Even we have a normal photographic camera. The photo photographic camera will make the job faster. Nevertheless, people prefer to draw. Those people, they are mm. artists, of course. Why do you prefer making films for children? Do you think they're a better audience than adults? Uh, except my wife and another few people, I, I prefer children than adults. Was there, you know. <laughs> Better we, communication, I believe. Mm. We talked in, in the introduction about the problems that the film industry is having in Australia. Do you, uh, do you f feel the same pinch that others do when they complain that there's not enough uh, tax concession available now? I mean, do you think this yeah. should affect filmmakers as much as it does? I'm so sorry to say I'm not uh, against. I can't complain. It's nice to complain. I can't complain. <laughs> Now, our main market is uh, sad to say it's uh, America. Mm -hmm. America is our main market. Even our films are doing very well in Australia. But the main market is where well, 250 million people, it means US. So if you had good films, and you don't, I don't need tax I can't, concessions. Uh, absolutely, I can't complain. Yoram, thank you for joining us this morning. We wish you well with the new two new films, Dot and the Bunny and Camera Boy. Thank you. Thank you.
the very talented Yoram Gross. Now, it's almost time for us to leave you, but before we do, we're going to whet your appetite for what's in store tomorrow night around Australia, when you will see on up to one, more than 100 stations across the country, live from the Sydney Entertainment Centre, Elton John. Here's one of the songs he does in a very long concert. It's called Blue Eyes.